In this lesson, you will learn how to solve multi-step equations. In order to solve multi-step equations, you first need to simplify both sides of the equation. Then, manipulate the equation to bring all terms with the variable to one side. Then, manipulate the equation to bring all of the constants to the other side and then finish solving with inverse operations. Again, to review your inverse operations are addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. And finally, remember to check your answer. So the first thing we need to do to solve this example is we need to simplify both sides of the equation. The left side of the equation is already simplified. The right side of the equation, we have 5k, which is the only k term, and 8 minus 1. So we can combine the 8 minus 1 term. So it will become negative 18 stays the same equals 5k plus 7. Now, the next step says that you need to bring all terms with the variable to one side, which we've already done. We already have 5k by itself on the right side. The last part is we need to bring all the constants or all the numbers to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides to use my inverse operations. And that will give us that 5k is equal to negative 25. And the last thing we have to do to finish getting k by itself is we need to get rid of the 5. So our inverse operation for multiplication is division. So we have to divide both sides by 5. And that's going to give us that negative 5 equals k. Or we can rewrite it as k equals negative 5. The last thing we have to do is to check our answer, so we have to plug it back into the original equation. So we could say negative 18 equals 5 times negative 5 plus 8 minus 1. If we simplify, we're going to get negative 18 equals negative 25 plus 8 minus 1. And if we finish combining our like terms on the right side, we're going to get negative 18 equals negative 18. And since this is our true statement, our answer is that k equals negative 5. The first thing we need to do is we need to simplify both sides of the equation. So if we look at the left hand side, we have b and 8b are like terms, and 4 and negative 8 are like terms. So if we were to combine our like terms, b plus 8b will give us 9b, and 4 minus 8 will give us minus 4. On the right hand side of the equation, we already have 6 and 4b simplified. So it will stay as 6 plus 4b. Now we need to bring all the terms with the variable to one side. So I'm going to decide that I want my b variable to be on the left hand side. So I'm going to move this 4b over to the left. So I'm going to subtract 4b from both sides. So that will give us that 9b minus 4b becomes 5b minus 4 equals 6. And again, that 4b minus 4b cancels out. Now I need to bring all the constants or numbers to the other side. So I need to move this negative 4 over to the other side. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And that will give me that 5b is equal to 10. Now the last thing I have to do is finish isolating b. Since b is multiplied by 5, the inverse would be to divide both sides by 5. So I would get that b is equal to 2. Now I have to check my answer. So I'm going to plug everything back in. So I'm going to have 2 plus 4 plus 8 times 2 minus 8 equals 
6 plus 4 times 2. If I simplify on the left hand side, I'm going to get 2 plus 4 plus 16 minus 8 equals 6 plus 8. If I combine like terms on the left side and the right side, I end up with 14 equals 14. And since this is true, we can say that B is equal to 2. The first thing I need to do in this example is simplify both sides of the equation. So the left side of the equation, 4P minus 7, is already simplified, so I'm going to rewrite it. So it's 4P minus 7 equals... Now on the right side, we have that 7 outside a set of parentheses. So I'm going to distribute the 7 to both of my terms. So 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. And 7 times negative 6 is negative 42p. Now, since the right side of the equation is simplified, I'm going to work to bring all the terms of the variable to the same side of the equation. So I'm going to move the negative 42p over to the left side. So I'm going to add 42p to both sides. So that will give me 4p plus 42p is 46p minus 7 equals negative 7. And since negative 42p and 42p cancel out, we leave it just as is. Next thing we need to do is bring all of the constants or the numbers to the same side. So I need to move this negative 7 over to the other side. So I'm going to use our inverse operation, so I'll add 7 to both sides. That will give me that 46p equals 0. And the last thing we have to do is I have to undo the multiplication of 46 and p. So I'm going to divide both sides by 46, and that will give me that p is equal to 0. On the last side, we saw that p is equal to 0, so now we need to check our answer. So I'm going to substitute p, 0, in for p. So it would be 4 times 0 minus 7 equals 7 times negative 1 minus 6 times 0. Now if I simplify, 4 times 0 gives me 0 minus 7. On the other side I have 7, and then it's negative 1 minus 0. So 0 minus 7 becomes negative 7. And negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. Now when I finish, I get negative 7 is equal to negative 7. Since this is true, the answer is that p is equal to 0. In the next example, we first have to simplify both sides of the equation. So for the left side, the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the negative side. So negative times 1 is negative 1. Negative times 2x is minus 2x minus 7. On the other side, the first thing I need to do is distribute. So I'm going to distribute the 6 to the 8 and the x. So if I were to do that, 6 times 8 gives me 48 plus 6x. Now I need to make sure I finish simplifying. So on the left hand side of the equation, I have negative 1 and negative 7 are like terms and negative 2x is by itself. So if I were to combine my like terms, it would become negative 2x minus 8. On the right-hand side of the equation, it's already simplified. So it's 48 plus 6x. The next thing I'm going to do is bring all of my variable terms to the left side. So to undo this adding 6x, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. So I'll get negative 
ax minus 8 equals 48. Next, I need to bring all the number terms or constant terms to the same side. So I'm going to move this negative 8 over by adding 8 to both sides to give me negative 8x equals 56. And the last thing I have to do is divide both sides by negative 8, which will give me that x is equal to negative 7. On the last slide, we found that x equals negative 7. Now we need to check our answer. So we're going to substitute negative 7 for x. So I'll negative times 1 plus 2 times negative 7 minus 7 equals 6 times 8 plus negative 7. So if I simplify the left side, I get negative times 1 minus 14 minus 7 equals 6 times 8 plus negative 7 gives us positive 1. On the left hand side, so if I simplify, I get negative times negative 13 minus 7 equals 6 times 1 is 6. Negative times negative 13 is positive 13 minus 7 equals 6. And we end up with 6 is equal to 6. And since 6 is equal to 6, that means that the correct answer is x equals negative 7.